Hello everyone, it's Faith, and I'm here to bring you the final edition of Cast Questions, at least for now. This is with Avalon Heron, the voice of Dax Fletcher. No exclusives this week for patrons, but that doesn't mean we still wouldn't love your support. So if you would like to support this podcast and its amazing cast and crew, please head on over to patreon.com slash boompodcast. You'll get extended episodes, the season three premiere early, as well as some other cool goodies. All right, spiel done. Time to listen to the smooth sounds of Avalon Heron. What's up, everyone? This is Avalon Heron, and I play the voice of Dax Fletcher. And I have the privilege today of answering a few questions for you guys. So let's get to it. What or who inspired you to act? If I can recall correctly, it was my senior year in high school, and I'm not even certain how I ended up taking a theater class, but there I was. I believe it was an elective um, that was required for the curriculum, but anyhow, uh, so myself and a good friend of mine had to act out in an impromptu scene together, and I just remember having a sensational time up there. And I don't think it was about entertaining an audience or not even receiving kudos um, for the performance. But for me, it was all about how how lively it was um, with my co-star per se. Um, and the chemistry that, that existed while up there, my friend and I, we would always just randomly recite lines from different movies, uh, growing up. So, you know, I believe having that opportunity to, uh, do it in front of an audience just made it a little more enjoyable. What do you love about your character? I love that Dax has this cool, calm, and collective persona. Um, Obviously, his profession kind of dictates his behavior outside of work, so he's always in this problem-solving arena and and ready to advise and or recommend possible solutions to his friends. But I would like to believe that's because he cares about Um, the well-being of those closest to him. What's the biggest challenge about this role? Undoubtedly, (laughs) the biggest challenge for me was cursing. I'm 38 years old, and believe it or not, I can probably count on one hand how many times I've cursed uh, throughout my life. So to take on a character or role that does something you have absolutely no preference for (laughs) makes it a little uneasy to say the least, but Hey, that, I mean, that's, that's a part of acting, right? Um, you know, taking on the persona of someone else. So, um, faith, if, if I suddenly start cursing, uh, more in my personal life, I I blame you, (laughs) But um, yeah, that that was that was undoubtedly one of my struggles throughout. How is this character like you? How is this character different from you? So I, I think I just I've just answered those uh, questions um, previously. Um, as I stated before, the character is like me in that um, I'm a very calm and laid back individual, um, and the character is different in that. Uh, of course, this character gets heated to the point that um, it results in uh, the individual cursing. So besides your own, who's your favorite character on the show? I'm actually an Allison fan. Um, Allison is played by um, my co-star Courtney Holly. And I like her character because she wears her emotions on her sleeve. And she's the type of person that tells the truth while trying to be sensitive to one's feelings. And and you can really see that in her interactions with Myra throughout. Um, I like that her that her character is full of energy. 
Uh, she doesn't take life for granted. And, um, you know, as a result, um, on the flip side of that, she makes some, some bad decisions in her life. For example, Luke. <laughs> um, but, you know, one can see that as a, a trait um, of, of someone who, who goes after what they want. And in my book, that's that's admirable. What was your first impression when you heard the first episode fully produced? Uh, my first impression was, wow, there's there's like really sound. You know, I, I can actually hear the, the, the commercial in the background or, you know, it actually sounds like we're walking outside. Uh, I think I share the same sentiments as, as my co-stars when I say uh, it became real. I mean, to the point where when I listen to the podcast, I actually have a visual. Um, so I just want to say kudos to, to those guys for for um, bringing this thing to life here. Besides Boom, what's your favorite audio drama or other kind of podcast? So as shameful as it is to say, I've never listened to a podcast before this one. And I know being a part of this culture, that seems to be a bit out the loop, I guess. But honestly, I actually think it worked out in my favor because, you know, coming in, I didn't have any any expectations. So I came in as just just this big sponge, just ready to to soak up what whatever came my way. What do you do when you're not voicing your character? Um well, I have a full-time job. I am a federal a federal employee with the Department of Defense. Um, um outside of work, um I enjoy working out. Um I absolutely enjoy traveling. I love road trips. And here recently, I've actually discovered a, a video store. Yes, they do still exist. Um, so watching movies has become a uh, definitely a favorite pastime of mine here lately. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'm a simple kind of guy. Well, at least I like to think so anyway. Have you ever done an audio drama before? If so, how does it compare to others? If not, how would you describe the experience? So, no, um, I've, I've never done an audio drama before. This is my first. Um, <clears throat> I, I have to be honest here and say initially the experience for me was uncomfortable. Um, you know, for one, it was my first time being involved in a podcast. And two, um for those that, that don't know, I was actually a late cast to season one. So the weekend that we were recording season one, that was actually my first time with the script and reading with um, the co-stars. So that entire weekend, I, I, I felt totally out of sync. Um, but when season two rolled around, of course, I, I had the opportunity to rehearse with the rest of the cast. Um prior to the recording and that experience in itself was very gratifying. If you could write the ending of the show, what would it be? <laughs> um, I haven't given this much thought, but I believe it or not, as absurd as it may sound, I would kill actually my character Dax um, and, and, and Dax would die as a result of trying to save Porter from Luke. Um, I think it's something that's totally unexpected. I think, um, Dax can, uh, can be a very likable character. Um, I think the audience is very neutral with Dax. Um, they may not necessarily love him, but I don't think they hate him as well. Um, so to, kill off a character that the audience doesn't have any issues with per se. Um, I think it would be totally, totally unexpected. So doing something that that's the essence of his character, which is saving his friend. So um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed both uh, season one and season two. And uh, I definitely enjoyed answering these questions for you guys. So 
I look forward to season three. As I said at the top, this is the last Cast Questions episode, but you'll be getting a mini episode on Friday that I'm really excited for you to hear. If you want to make sure you don't miss that mini episode, or any episodes for that matter, please subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. For more info on the show, where to find us on social media, and a link to our nifty Teespring store, please visit boom.observerpictures.com. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for listening, and be sure to tell a friend about the show. We'll be back on Friday.